This water filter system developed by George Kern. He, is, he used to be a member of Pan Pan a while ago. And then he noticed that people use a lot of chemical in farming. And the water underground contaminate with chemical everywhere. And then he feel bad that people in the village have to buy bottled water to drink. Water is everywhere. Why we need to buy water to drink? So he developed this technique of water filter system to help people to be able to have access to drink, clean drinking water easily. So George Kern, he experiment a lot. He used the labs in Bangkok to test the quality of water for the first time for three years in one university. He sent the sample to test two times a month, every month for three years. And after that, he changed another lab and tested it again another two years. And then he used, he went back to America. He used the lab in Colorado University in uh, Boulder. He tested many years after that. And, and, and now, George Kern is a professor at a uh, university in North Carolina. So he's dedicated to water filter system for a long, long time. He make the uh, website called aqsolution.org. So he have handbooks, have more detail about water system in there. So anybody who interested to see more, check out that website. And water filter system is a good solution for many people who don't want to buy water to drink who want to have their own water, depend on themselves on water. Because we don't need to buy plastic bottle a lot. So it's very simple and easy. This is the way to be self-reliant. And the question was, could we make a water filter that would remove pesticides and other chemicals uh, just using you know, local materials? And the idea was to use charcoal, and so that's, I became interested in studying charcoal filters. Um, I worked on it mostly here at the farm for a few years, uh, developing a sort of prototype water treatment system, and also started to work at the university to do some tests to see if the system was going to be able to work to clean pesticides out of the water. And then in 2009, I started graduate school, and this was my project, the project that I would do for my thesis work, which was to try to determine if we could make charcoal using a really simple method, but it would still be good enough to clean pesticides and other chemicals like that out of the water. This is the simple kit to test E. coli in the water. The dark color is the water before we filter. There's a lot of E. coli in there. And then the white color is the water after we filter. There's no E. coli in there. He also tests with salmonella and typhoid. It's completely clean. How to make the water filter system? The first thing is to make the platform for the, the whole system. The platform needs to be even and have to be higher than the highest faucet, about one meter. The first thing we need to prepare is the 200 liters drums. We need four of them and clean them very well. The second thing that we need is a half inch male and female threaded couplers, including the rubber gasket or rings. We need eight set of them like this. The third thing we need one inch male and female threaded couplers, including the rubber gasket one set. Number four is one piece of one inch. Wow. Number five is two piece of half inch valves. Number six is one set of float valve. This valve can be straight or can be elbow like this. It's okay too, but I prefer the straight one better. But from this shop, we have only this kind. Number seven is very fine net. You can also use the window screen if you don't have the very good net. 
Number eight is three concrete box chambers, or other thing look similar. Number nine is big rocks. We can use the river rocks. This uh, kind of rocks, we need about one big bag, feed bag. That's good enough. Number ten is pea gravel, or the rock that they use to make with concrete. We use the small size, like five to ten millimeters diameter. That is good. We need about two bags. Number eleven is coarse sand or rough sand. They use for building with cement. This kind of sand we can use. We need about one big bag. Number twelve is fine sand. We can use sand from the shore. Or from the rice field, or from anywhere, saved it very well. Number thirteen is charcoal. If we use charcoal from the market, the water will, uh, after we filter, it will become brown color because there's tar in there. So we need to clean up many times to make it clear. More than ten times, we need to clean the tank more than ten times. But if we make charcoal in this way. This is a new technique how to make charcoal with very high temperature, but it's very easy to make. So this charcoal is very good quality. If we use it to filter the water, the water will turn clear immediately. So this technique you can use any kind of wood to make charcoal. It's okay. Any kind of wood is not different. But the difference is the temperature. How to make charcoal? So try this skill. It will be very fun. You can make charcoal in the city because there are less smoke than normal charcoal. Rock, gravel, sand have to be cleaned many times until it totally clear. The water have to be very clear. So this part need to be very clean. Except charcoal, we don't need to clean it. The tools we need is a drill, half inch drill and one inch drill. That's very important. If we don't have it, we can use a knife to cut carefully. But you need to have a lot of skill to do that. But a lot of patience too. We start with the first tank. We need to drill a hole for one inch. Drain it. Uh, uh, wow! So it's good to drill in the very bottom part of the drum. It's quite important to put the rubber gasket or rubber ring in the male threaded couple before we put in there. And then to use the silicone in there is quite. It help a lot for leaking. The inside we have to put silicone also, and then the rubber gasket. If we don't have enough rubber gasket, it's good to put only inside because it's more important than outside. It prevent leaking better, and then we can tie it very tight after that. Before we make a hole for the uh, float valve. We need to make sure that it can work. It will not stuck in there. So because the the lever at the end need to be able to move up and down, up and down. So this part is quite important to check, so it will not be mistake. The valve need to have the rubber gasket and silicone before we put in the hole. The outside, we also need silicone too, and then we can use the female threaded cobbler to tighten it. This is what it look like inside after we tighten it, and then we prepare the hole for the uh, overflow pipe to the second tank or the sand tanks. So the water go into from the bottom, and then we go out on 
the top of the tank here. For the second tank, the inlet hole need to be the same level with the outlet hole from the first tank because it will connect together. The second, the third and the fourth tank, we make the hole very similar and then the same size like this. In the first tank, we put the concrete block chamber like in the V-shape like this to protect the lever of the float valve to be able to move and tie the string in the end of the lever and then make a hole in the third concrete chamber and then we can pull the string through the concrete. This is the way to prevent the rock to not let the rock go inside. After that, we fill up with the big rock. The big rock will help to keep the concrete chamber stay still. Then we add more P gravel on top of the big rock. So we use the PVC pipe to keep the string be safe and then it can be able to move freely and then fill up the whole tank with P gravel until to almost the top of the pipe. And we can tie the balloon on top of the pipe but we need to keep the level of the balloon not higher than the edge of the, the barrel or the drum because when we put the lid on it will not stuck on the lid so this part we need to adjust it to make it fit perfectly after that we connect the second tank to the first tank like this in the second tank we start with the big rocks but we don't have enough big rocks so we use the uh, bricks the big bricks instead after big rocks and or big bricks we put pre gravel on top a little bit to make it level and then we put the screen on top the screen will prevent sand to not let sand go through it we start with rough sand first because rough sand will help to prevent fine sand to not grow through rough sand. After that, we can fill up with fine sand until it come up to really close to the pipe, the, the inlet pipe, but not over cover the pipe. For the third tank, it's quite it's very similar to the second tank. The third tank will be the charcoal tank, but we start with the rocks, big rocks first or uh, baked bricks and then we can go with P gravel to level it and after that it will be the screen put the screen on top of it after the screen will be rough sand about 3 inches after rough sand will be fine sand another 3 or 4 inches and after fine sand it will be charcoal after that before we use charcoal we need to smash it hit it or make it as small as you can and you can fill in the tanks after that it will be better if we uh, sift the charcoal first so it will not too dusty and then the water will be quite clean in the first time but this time we don't have time to do that We fill up charcoal up to the inlet pipe, but not cover the pipe. Sometimes we use the screen on top of the charcoal and then put rock on it to press the charcoal down so it will not float. This is how it works. The bottom pipe here is the drainage pipe to clean the tank, but the top pipe is the water the inlet pipe the water go into this pipe inside is a float valve in there the water go to the bottom of the first tank and then overflow to the top of the tank and then connect with the sand tank 
the water from the first tank overflow to the top of sand in the second tank and then it will filter to the sand to the bottom tank and then push itself up to the third tank or the charcoal tank. The water will be filtered through the charcoal and then go to the bottom of the tank and push itself up to the fourth tank, the storage tank here that's ready to drink. This is the outlet from the fourth tank so we can connect from here to anywhere that you want to bring drinking water to. On top it will look like it's the first tank with the balloon is a rock overflow to the sand tank and come to the charcoal tank and the storage tank. This is the way it works. So the float valve will keep the level of the water in the four tanks evenly. So the floor have to be even. That's a very important part of it. Before we can use the water, we need to drain the water out at least three times to clean out the whole system and then after that the water will be good to drink. Most of water can be filtered with this technique except it's too dirty, too dark color, it's not clear enough or too smelly, that's not good to filter. So this kind of water filter system is very simple to take care. After we use this for a while, if our water has very high iron, you can see the yellow dust in the water a lot. So that clog the pipe easily. So the first hand can clean the dust very well. So if you have a lot of iron in the water, it's good to turn off the valve, the water to go in, turn it off, and then open the drainage pipe, this one open this one, it will empty all the dust out because inside the water will go to the bottom and push itself up to the top and then all the dust will settle on the bottom so only clear water will go to the sand, uh, sand tanks so when we clean we just open this one we don't need to take the rocks out keep it there forever and then on the side, on the uh, sand tank Mainly, it's quite clear water go there. So, there maybe have some dust or some clay settle on top of the sand. It make the filter slow sometimes. So we just turn it off here, turn the valve water in, off, and then stir the water in the sand tank, and then scoop the water out, scoop it out, and then we can use it again. What we need to change often is charcoal. We can change charcoal every two or three years. That's good enough. So, not much work to do. Just make charcoal and change it only two or three years per one time. That's enough. Quite easy and simple to take care of it. Mm -hmm.